Welcome to the official personality guru. ENTPs are active, enterprising, and strategic leaders who have a vision for the future. They are insightful and critical, readily spotting trends and opportunities they can take advantage of and spotting flaws and loopholes that need to be corrected. Although spontaneous and fun-loving at times, they naturally gravitate towards leadership in any organization because of their natural ability to take charge. ENTPs have an active life and always want to be involved and work on projects that they have an interest in. They are serious about their personal growth and development and often like to seek out challenging environments in which they thrive. They love competition and use it as a motivator to push themselves to excellence. However, ENTPs sometimes may have problems on completing what they have started because they often have multiple visions of the future. They want to pursue all of them and see all of these visions come to pass. However, ENTPs will do well to prioritize their visions and make a clear decision about which one they want to focus on. Today, let's talk about ENTP as leaders. Before we start, make sure to subscribe to the official personality guru and ring the bell icon to get regular updates on our latest uploads. And if you like this video, click the thumbs up button and share it with your friends. ENTPs are quite innovative and as a result, often acquire backing from others who admire their ideas. These types can easily inhabit leadership positions. Although, they may not like being a part of a traditional structure, a mid-level manager position in a company might, for example, be unappealing to the ENTP because managers have producers, rules, and constraints that might suffocate their need to create and push against the typical. They are of course capable of carrying out the duties of these positions, but these roles often aren't ideal for their mental wiring. Setting visions is almost second nature to ENTPs. They readily see flaws and loopholes in current social, economic, and political systems and are quick to suggest innovative solutions to these issues. They also spot trends and patterns. If they can articulate these well to their team, they can inspire the team to run after the vision together. However, ENTPs need to be careful not to have too many ideas for execution at any one time. They may unintentionally cause their staff to overworking trying to pursue too many as a result. Sometimes they may also focus too much on the ideal vision that they forgo the allocation of resources toward doing mundane tasks required in an organization. ENTP's leaders' energy and enthusiasm often push others to work hard. They are insightful into what drives and motivates others and will use what they know to influence them. However, their task-oriented nature when it comes to working causes them to be overly critical and challenging at times. They often use the forceful debate to discover alternative input from their team. But this may offend the more sensitive individuals. They are also scarce with the use of praise because they see criticism as a greater motivator for improvement. ENTPs are innovative in their execution to achieve goals. They are open to trying out new processes and methods to accomplish tasks as long as they see the possibility that it can be more effective. ENTPs do not see a need to micromanage their staff and would rather give them independence. However, ENTPs often do not give sufficient details for execution. They provide the big picture, but neglect is letting their team know the specific tasks to do. Some personalities will be frustrated with this, seeing the lack of specific instruction as a lack of direction. They lead with their curiosity and innovation much like ENFP leaders. ENTPs can help but follow their newest idea. The first trail on the horizon, the warmest gaze into oblivion. The lovely image there, however, the invigoration that comes from a new insight is often short-lived. Soon, their mind that was so smitten with this one concept yesterday is off wandering onto other projects today. Linda V. Behrens and Dario Nordi note in the 16 personality types descriptions for self-discovery that for ENTPs, new ideas and really creative, unusual, and efficient solutions often flood their awareness. Thus, their natural mindset is being immersed in an ocean of possibilities. One day, an ENTP leader at a comic book shop might look at their sales margin and realize the shop is losing money. A million ideas on how to rectify this will come into their head and they will choose the best one they see in their 
plethora of possible options. BNTP will ask their employees to arrange a meet and greet with a renowned comic artist, a simple get-together between the artist and the local community. It will bring in some extra money to the comic shop as individuals might be more enticed to come over if they know the artist is there. Having a table and some refreshments for the signing will be where the idea starts. Starts. Yet, soon, the simple book signing has become a literal firework show planned for just outside the comic book store. Complete the beats, blasting, and the fire department on call. Clearly, the longer the ENTP pursues an idea, the more nuanced it gets. So the ENTP's employees will get started gathering refreshments, tables, and fireworks. Their leader is excited, so they are excited. Then, the ENTP will pop in the next day and pull their employees off of that big picture or project and set them to work on a bigger, better project. Hosting a mini comic con event with an entrance fee where buyers can dress up as their favorite characters. That will surely bring more money. Who doesn't want to dress up as Harley Quinn? Size may fill the room. What about all the preparation that's already been done? If the ENTP leader isn't careful, they might have some overworked people on their hands. Heidi Prebe jokingly notes in How You'll Do Everything Based on Your Personality Type that ENTP employees are the employee who comes up with a self-proclaimed brilliant new way of doing things every two to three days, which he or she then tries to force the rest of the reluctant office to get on board with. Level up that ENTP from employee to leader and you get the picture. They encourage open discussion. An ENTP's constant will towards innovation might rob some of their workers the wrong way while also encouraging some of their workers more than they ever have been. ENTP leaders are constantly breaking the mold and near constantly coming up with better ways to approach problems. They don't cling to implemented ways of doing. Dr. A.J. Drenth even notes in the 16 personality types, profiles, theory, and type development that their knack for deviating from conventional dogmas and traditions may precipitate problems. Doing something that's the first of its kind is a high ideal for an ENTP. To do this, they might push against the known, even if it's uncomfortable for the people around them. However, ENTPs are some of the most open leaders themselves. They can take the heat. They don't need to stay out of the kitchen. Please make me breakfast. ENTP leaders are incredibly open to information and feedback generally. They are rarely permanently fixed on an idea and welcome rebuttal. They're likely one of the most willing leaders to be questioned by employees. That's not to say that ENTPs don't want the respect of those around them, but they value getting down to the best argument or idea possible. ENTP leaders want multiple ideas to be thrown around, especially if they combat the points of the other side. They care about inventing solutions that work and if the logic of their options isn't challenged, they aren't going to ultimately create the best workable solution. Being contested is needed for a true gem of a solution to emerge. They keep things fair. ENTPs may not be feeling types but they are aware of logical principles and what it means to keep individuals balanced or on the same plane of thought. ENTP leaders might be aware of hierarchies but they don't matter as much as ideas. They could care less whether the secretary or the person of the most workplace importance came up with an idea. A good idea is a good idea regardless of who said it. Somebody knows where it's at. Let's say an ENTP leader tells the employees at their daycare center that they want to find a way to help the early childhood teachers and the parents of their students create better methods of communication. The ENTP leader is open to suggestions. Some teachers throw out individual meetings, have a family day event and more. But when a five-year-old child hears the conversation and pipes up, stating, everyone loves food, what about a pot lock? We had one at my school. The ENTP might just melt. The kid is right. Status doesn't matter when it comes to the caliber of ideas. Everyone's voice is welcome. ENTP leaders want their workers to feel heard when it comes to organizational betterment. They want others to be engaged in the work they find worthy of their time, just as they themselves so naturally seek to be. Although this may or may not translate to passion, as an ENFP would put it. What's important to an ENTP is that those around her or him are doing work that matters, doing work that is progressive or enlightening in some way. 
that starts with being open to people's thoughts generally. They may become easily bored or skeptical ENTP leaders have a lot going for them. They are creative, diplomatic, fair, and like to have fun. Even though they might not be as aware of emotional needs, they will treat everyone the same way as a baseline. But of course, no leader is perfect. Follow through. Your tendency to move on from project to project will either frustrate your staff or cause them to burn out. When you start a project, discipline yourself to follow through to completion, even though more interesting projects or tasks may come up along the way. Be keenly aware of the workload that your staff is taking on, making sure that no one is overworked. How about you as an ENTP? How are you as a leader? Be sure to watch until the end and share your experience for a chance to have your comment pinned. Build personal relationships. Your task-oriented nature causes you to refrain from showing any personal side in the course of your work. However, some people do work more effectively with you when you choose to open up a more personal side of yourself. When people like you, they're more likely to follow you willingly. Choose an appropriate time to task a co-worker out for a short coffee break and have a good chat with them. Before we continue, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give us a like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the official personality guru for more amazing videos. Don't forget to ring the bell icon to stay updated with our content. Break the big vision down into specific steps. While you tend to believe that people can find their way to complete the task after you cast the vision, remember that some need the ideas broken down into specific, measurable steps to take. After you have shared a vision, use a project management sheet or Jean chart to guide your team on what steps they exactly have to take to accomplish that vision.